Greetings Arkham Files fans! As part of the annual Arkham Knight celebrations, FFG runs both in-person and online costume contests, which is great news if you are a US resident and we hope you entered and had fun if you were eligible. We have another video detailing all about it and the $449.82 worth of prizes they were giving away. Having met so many awesome Arkham players over the years who love dressing up, we always thought it was a shame people outside the US didn't get the opportunity to participate and be rewarded for their efforts. Being poor starving YouTubers who spend all their money on weird card protection and massive shipping and customs charges, we couldn't finance a competition like this ourselves. So we convinced Chaos Cars to let us hijack their Arkham Knight's 2022 plans and make their costume contest an international one. Today we are proud to announce the Arkham Horror Rest of the World costume contest brought to you by Chaos Cards. Now we are not going to waffle on about how they are one of Britain's most successful games retailers, or tell you about their customer loyalty program which gives you cash back, or their monthly discount codes, or how you only need to spend over £20 to get free UK delivery, or even mention their regular sales or oh my word what's that, Lita I found what I want for Christmas! Where was I? That's right, I wasn't telling you about their amazing clearance offers where you can pick up FFG's Game of Thrones living card game including their gorgeous playmats for a third of the price. Or better still, pre-order the Road to Innsmouth which should have been out in September. And there is definitely no time to tell you all about their range of Arkham Horror inserts, tokens and investigator stands because oh my goodness, Lita it's so beautiful! Anyway, in your own time you can check out their UK delivery rates from 1 English pounds and their worldwide shipping to over 200 countries using 3 different speeds. Plus they can prepay your customs charges and import fees on some orders so you don't get a nasty bill when it arrives. These people are so nice they give their staff free cups of tea all day, which as all us Brits know is pretty much as essential as oxygen. They have a store in Folkestone which is in the south of England so you can take your new games to the beach and get sand in your meeples. And you know their Mythos credentials are white hot because as of October 22 they are still writing articles about Arkham games that haven't had an expansion since we were in short trousers. Look if you want to know more visit their website and learn how they started in the 18th century as a humble orphan pushing a barrow through the plague ridden streets of London yelling <laughs> or something like that. It's pretty close we imagine. A lot of products you see on this very channel, particularly all those sleeves have been ordered from Chaos Cards and we have never had a bad experience with them. Touch wooden plank. And as gamers we ourselves have been purchasing from them since before there was an Arkham Chronicle. As you know we are fiercely independent and we have never taken any kind of sponsorship or endorsement, only review copies. There is no way we would enter into such a collaboration if we didn't think these were good people, and to our delight they have been just as enthusiastic and hard working as we have been to get this event ready. Plus we have worked with them before for other competitions. So let us explain how this event is going to work as it is nice and simple. Step 1. You dress up as a character, creature or entity from Fantasy Flight Games Arkham Files Universe. Step 2. You take a picture of yourself in that costume, or better still get someone else to do it as that will be so much easier for you. Step 3. You email those pictures to us before the 1st of December 2022. It is basically that simple. You don't need to like, share, subscribe or go anywhere near social media. There is some small print which we will cover at the end of the video, but what you really want to know about are the prizes. In the official costume contest they gave away copies of Unfathomable and Eldritch Horror, and Chaos Cards will also be giving away one of each. Plus the Arkham Chronicle will put in a brand new copy of Final Hour that we got as part of our Game Center official swag. Yes, we still have our own copy, thank you. There are also 50 of the official Arkham Knights 2022 promo cards and 3 different special edition playmats from Chaos Cards and a brand new copy of the Arkham Knights exclusive scenario Fortune and Folly from us. Plus the amazing folks at Aconite Books are giving us a complete set of all the Arkham Horror novels published in the UK as of November the 1st. And you can have them signed as well although it does mean we have to stick the stickers in by hand. 
We also reached out to Asmodee UK way back in September. Throughout November, there may be more prizes as well, so check our Twitter as it would be great if this event got to give away $449.82 worth of prizes, just like the official FFG one. And it is an unwritten rule here at the Arkham Chronicle that if any competition of ours gets over 100 entries, we add a brand new copy of Barkham Horror to the prize pool. Because these things now go for over £200, doing this is bloody expensive. The aim of this year's event will be participation, so rather than have a couple of big bundles that are won by a few people, we want to spread joy around as many folks as possible. Everyone has a different amount of time, talent and resources, so we don't want a shortage of any of those to make someone feel like they can't enter. We want enthusiasm to be rewarded, which is why we have set up a series of random prizes which can be triggered as soon as our secret conditions are met. As an example, let's say you are the first person to enter the contest, or maybe the 13th person to enter the contest, then you win a prize just for entering. Let's say you are the first content creator to enter, or the first person from Australia to enter. Just by entering you will have triggered a secret prize, and you can still go on to win one of the major prizes too. The secret prizes will be how we give out the Arkham Knights promo cards. And rather than give you a bunch of singles that are no use to anyone, well, mostly, we will be giving out full play sets of cards. So this is how you can get your dream lineup of four sled dogs. Or two shooters! Or one of whatever this is. And if you don't play the card game, we will find you an alternative, like these limited edition dice. Do you know they go for $100 on eBay? Any secret prizes that aren't claimed will be distributed amongst other prize winners, so you don't have to worry about us destroying them in a future video. Is that enough about prizes? Well, that's a great question, particularly as we want to attract as many first-timers as possible. This costume contest is where you attempt to portray the likeness of a person or a being depicted in artwork from Fantasy Flight Games' Arkham Horror Files universe. You do so by replicating the clothing as closely as you can, and when you are taking a photograph, the pose of that character as well. You do as much as possible to help people recognise who you are portraying. This can include using wigs and props and accessories. And your entry doesn't have to be human. If you have always wanted to be an indescribable horror, you go right ahead with our blessing. In order to help spread out the winners, there are three different categories of things you can dress up as. Obviously, you can be an investigator, one of the main playable characters from the Arkham Horror games. A good reference for these characters is the Investigators of Arkham book, or the Art of Arkham Horror from Dark Horse, which have big, clear pictures. The second category is an ally. The Arkham Files has an amazing supporting cast that are frequently overlooked, so we would love to see more people cosplaying as one of these characters. A good reference for these, other than the cards themselves, is the website ArkhamDB, which has a reasonable sized selection of pictures if you zoom in. The third category is Adversary. What would the pulp world of action and adventure that is the Arkham Horror Files be without antagonists? From immoral cultists to organised crime, there is a collection of opponents just as rich as the so-called good guys. They don't even have to be unique or have a real name. If you want to be a generic brotherhood cultist or acolyte, that is totally fine. Go for it! This category is often the easiest to pull off. Take the mobster here. All you need is a white shirt, a dark hat and some basic plumbing you can find at any hardware store. Just get white PVC pipe and paint it grey and that will be the hardest part of the costume. In fact, the pose will do 90% of the work for you in making your picture recognisable. This is also the category for non-human costumes. These are great if you are shy about showing your face like us. And previous contests have had everything from Night Gaunt to... We're totally not saying that name. Once again, the purpose of these categories is to help us spread the prizes out and encourage you to look at the wider selection of Arkham Horror art to find something that is within your capabilities. We appreciate you have less than a month, and so want to do whatever we can to encourage you to enter. If you find an image and go, wow, who is that? I want to do that. That is totally fine. We can put you in a category and find out their name. Her name's Danny Devine, by the way. But it doesn't have to be a named individual as long as we can recognise who you are portraying. 
When the Call of Cthulhu living card game ended in 2015 with the Mark of Madness expansion, there were almost 800 distinct likenesses. And with additional games and other media, there are now even more. We do encourage you to look to modern products, as these have the clearest and largest art, and so may be the most helpful. But if you want to embody Richard Finchington III, or one of our favourite ever characters, Norm Grzbowski, you go right ahead! Incidentally, Norm has the best flavour text anywhere in the Arkham Files games. A quote so funny they had to remove it in subsequent printings of the card. A word of warning is, the further back you go, the more the art was reused. A number of early allies would be made over into actual investigators. And characters may be drawn by different artists in different styles and have different looks, so don't get too confused. Hopefully that has spurred you on to enter the competition, or at least give you some thought. Even if it is not for you, then maybe you have a spouse, partner, friend, or someone you donated a kidney to, who hasn't heard of the Arkham Files but likes dressing up. And who has no use for these lovely prizes. You lot can shove off now, but keep an eye on our Twitter, as we'll be announcing winners all throughout November, thanks to our secret door prizes. If you are thinking of entering, we will have a second video that fully explains the entry process, all the terms and conditions, and has an FAQ to make things as straightforward as possible. Make sure you check that out before you enter. Extra special thanks to everyone that has allowed us to photograph them at events, and has supplied us with extra pictures so that we can illustrate what Arkham Cosplay is all about. We certainly appreciate it. And if you feel like sharing this video somewhere on social media, then come and tell us in the comments below so we can say thank you.